What's up everyone, Dave with Ebb Concrete, and today we're going to talk about the difference between structural and non-structural cracks. This is 3 Minutes of Why with your Foundation Guy. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the difference between a structural crack and a non-structural crack. We're going to set our timer for three minutes and we're going to stay under that time and give you as much information as we can. Here we go. Okay, so you've got some cracks in your foundation or your foundation walls and you've been told or maybe you've heard the difference between is it a structural crack or a non-structural crack. We're going to dive into that a little bit today, but first I do need a caveat that sometimes, just from the beginning, just so you understand, that a structural crack can hide itself as a non-structural crack and a non-structural crack can hide itself as a structural crack. Okay? So just just know that, that we're going to not talk 100% absolutes. So let's first dive in and let's first talk about structural cracks. What is a structural crack? Typically, a structural crack means that there is something going on with the home. Usually, it might mean that you might have bowing basement walls. You might have a little bit of settlement. You might have a lean or a sag in a floor or a wall that's coming in. Typically, a structural crack is going to start in the corner and it's going to come down at an angle, at a, usually a 45-ish degree angle, or it might run horizontally across the wall. That's going to be considered, most of the time, a structural crack. And sometimes they'll be a little bit wider on the top than they will on the bottom. Not always. Again, we're not talking in absolutes here. The other side of the coin, the flip of that, is a non-structural crack. What would be considered a non-structural crack? Typically, that's going to be what we in our industry call a shrinkage crack. So when you add a lot of water to concrete, cement, or mortar, or anything like that, it's going to shrink. And that would be considered a non-structural crack. It's still a crack in maybe, your, let's say, your foundation wall, but it's not necessarily meaning that there is a big issue going on. It might just be that the product, concrete, shrunk and separated. That's kind of a way that you, the homeowner, can kind of look, does my crack go straight down? Is it is a pretty much a, a perfectly vertical crack? That's typically going to be a non-structural crack. Or does it go at an angle? Or does it go horizontal? That's usually going to be a structural crack. Now, they both can be fixed. Typically, the fixes are a little bit different in how they're approached. Um, usually, a non-structural crack is usually just either carbon fiber, maybe an epoxy injection, things like that. A structural crack might mean bowing of walls, settlement, so maybe wall plate anchors, again, carbon fiber, maybe some steel-driven push piers, something like that. So I hope that answers your questions. I hope that... Uh, you now kind of better understand the difference between a structural crack and a non-structural crack. So hey, this is Dave Epp with Epp Concrete. I hope you found this video uh, informative and helpful. Make sure to click uh, up above and like and follow our page. And this was 3 Minutes of Why with your Foundation Guy.